Hello friends, after the introductory videos, now we will deal with some important concepts. Today I will deal with one important hydrological concept that is the concept of fine depth. Lot of students find it difficult to calculate the fine depth. So now I will deal with that. So I am Abhay Grawal, got AIR1 in 2013 gate examination and did my how much Indian power from IIT Kharagpur. Before going directly into the high index concept, I want to tell you some basics about that. See, concentrate on this figure. Suppose if rainfall is happening, then what are the various phenomena that happens on the earth surface? When rain is start falling, some of the water will directly evaporate on their way before reaching on the earth surface. Some will reach to the earth surface. After that, they will percolate down into the soil. That is known as the infiltration. They will further go deep into the ground and reach to the groundwater. That is known as the deep percolation. That water starts their horizontal movement and ultimately reaches with the sea. That is known as the base flow. Now come on the surface. On surface, some water will be intercepted by the trees, buildings, grasses. That water will ultimately evaporate. That is known as the evapotranspiration. Why evapotranspiration? Water which evaporates, that is known as the evaporation, and water which loses through the ishtomata of the plant that is known as the transpiration and the combined term is evapotranspiration. Similarly, water will go evaporate from the water body such as ocean and on land surface. Land surface. After this all the losses, some water will left over the surface and that will flow over the surface that is known as the surface runoff. I think you are clear with this picture. Now, if we will draw a graph between the rainfall intensity versus time, can you tell me what we call this graph rainfall intensity versus time? Please comment in the comment box. So, suppose we got this graph. Now, if you will calculate the entire area under this graph, then you will get the total amount of rainfall which is happening over a, over a particular area. So as I explained you in the earlier slide that entire rainfall do not get converted into the runoff because some water will go inside the soil surface as infiltration, some will evaporate. So those are combined, combinedly known as the losses. So, if you will remove this losses from the total rainfall, then you will get the runoff. So, so here comes our concept of fine depth. Fine depth is nothing but the losses divided by total time. How you can calculate this losses? Total area of this graph means total amount of rainfall minus this runoff. That will become equal to losses. So, phi index can be defined as rainfall minus runoff divided by total time. That is here 14 hours. Okay. I hope you are clear till now. So, based on our understanding of phi index, now we will calculate one question. See this 2011 question. I would recommend you to please see it with one pen and paper and one calculator. Pause this video here and read this question carefully. So, from this question, if you will calculate the fine depth, what will be the total rainfall? You have to calculate the area under this curve. How you can calculate this 10 hours for how much time? 30 minutes. Okay. So, this is the rainfall intensity. So, intensity multiplied by time. So, 10 into half an hour, that will become 5. Similarly, half an hour and 30 mm per hour. So, you calculate the amount of rainfall that will become equal to 81.5.
then what is runoff runoff is given in portion itself that is surface runoff is 38 mm so now we deduct rainfall minus runoff divided by total time what is total time here 180 minutes 180 minute means 3 hours so do our high index came 14.5 mm per hour so now you will think that question is wrong and we the answer is d but no now you have to extend the concept of high index now you will see how i hope you are clear till now now we are uh, now with 14.5 mm per hour you see this graph and tell me which of the following value is equal to or less than 14.5 mm per hour definitely these two values are less than that what does this mean see 14.5 mm per hour losses are there ok so in one hour 14.5 mm rainfall is going to loss means that is not converting into runoff so if they are not converting into runoff then they are not effective rainfall means they are not contributing into runoff so this 10 mm per hour this quantity is completely going inside the soil they are not contributing into the runoff similarly this 8 mm per hour this is completely going into the soil because 14.5 mm per hour is your initial high index what you calculated but all these values these are the greater than 14.5 mm per hour means in one hour your rainfall is 33 30 mm and your high index is 14.5 mm so you deduct this quantity and that much quantity of water will be above the surface now it will be more clear see this value so now you calculate value of high index was 14.5 mm per hour so for half an hour what will be the value of high means 7.25 mm so 7.25 mm of water will directly absorb in half an hour so here how much is the water quantity 5 for half an hour the water quantity is 5 mm so will it there be any water to contribute into runoff no because complete water will be absorbed because it is less than 7.25 mm for this it will remain for 1 2 3 4 for these four quantities we will get some effective runoff so how we will calculate in half an hour how, what will be the value of rainfall this will be 15 minus 7.25 similarly we calculate for all these three so how you will get 14.43.5 mm was this the value of runoff given in question no this is not the value of runoff given in question so we have to do something else what is that now we will again calculate the value of run of high index so until now what we studied is rainfall minus runoff divided by total time is the high index now we will modify this formula what we will do we will write effective rainfall means what is the amount of rainfall which is contributing into the runoff so here we saw that this 10 and 8 these are not contributing into the runoff so you deduct this value from total rainfall so that will become your effective rainfall so here 81.5 was total rainfall minus 5 how this 5 came 10 mm per hour so for half an hour what will be the value of rainfall that becomes 5 similarly for 8 it will become 4 minus runoff will remain same as 38 and now this total time will become effective time so what is the effective time out of 3 hours you are 1 hour gone so effective time is 2 hours now you calculate the fine value of fine depth so it is 17.25 mm per hour now we will check for runoff so if 17.25 mm per hour is high depth then what will be the value of 5 for half an hour 17.25 divided by 2 that will become this now same you calculate runoff so 15 minus this what i explained you earlier 
Okay, so same. What is the value of run of 38 mm? Is this the value given in question? Yes, this is the same value as given in question. So what you have to remember, high index is effective rainfall minus run of divided by effective time. So out of total rainfall, you deduct those rainfall which are not contributing into the runoff. So here rainfall which is contributing into the runoff. That is the core concept of high index. If you are able to understand this, then you will be able to calculate high index for any type of question. Now we will see some other questions. So what will be the answer for this? 17.25. Now see this question. So pause the video and read the question. Here in this question, high index is given 10 mm per hour. So what, which are the following value which is less than 10 mm? This 9 and 7. So straight away they will not contribute into the runoff. So which are the two which is contributing into runoff? This 28 and 12. So what will be the runoff? See, 28 mm for 1 hour, what is the rent for? 28 mm. And what is the 5? 10 mm. Means if 28 mm is coming from the cloud, 10 mm is going into the ground and 18 mm is above the ground. So 18 for this duration and 2 for this duration. So what will be your answer? 18 plus 2, 20. So without touching pain, you can solve this question. If you are not compatible with that, then you apply this formula. High index you have given in question. Effective rainfall. What is effective rainfall? These two are effective rainfall. Minus runoff. This you have to calculate. Divided by effective time. What is effective time? These two are not contributing into the rainfall. 9 and 7. This is not contributing into the rain, uh, surface runoff. So these two are contributing into the surface runoff. So effective rainfall will be 2 hours. So if from here if you will calculate you will also get answer 20 mm. I hope you are clear. So this is also question for practice. I would like you to solve this question and put your uh, answer in the comment box. I will give you a hint here. It has been asked in form of fill in the blank. So you care about whether they have asked in mm or cm. Even if you will solve and put answer in cm, they will uh, wrong wrong that question because they have asked in mm so this type of uh, mistake you should not do and also here they have cumulative rainfall this is not rainfall so for each time duration you have to find you make one more column and write rainfall so for zero hour that will become zero for second hour it will become 0.64 for fourth hour it will become 2.64 minus 0.64 means 2 and this high index is given so you see which is which are the following are contributing into the runoff. Based on that you took the effective time and put the put this same formula. So you will be able to get this runoff value. I expect you guys to solve this question and give your comment on the comment box. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. See in high index you keep the formula effective rainfall minus runoff divided by effective time. This is the key of find that. That 2011 question was very good. You, If you are not able to gain this entire concept in one watching, you watch this video two or three times, you will definitely get this concept. And from your side, you solve one or two more numerical problems. If you have any doubt, you comment on the comment box. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.